Hey everyone, and welcome to Deidre Gamers World of Final Fantasy Let's Play. I'm super excited to start this Let's Play. I absolutely love this game. World of Final Fantasy. Um, at the time, I didn't get a chance to finish it when I got it. Due to um, other games coming out around the same time. I think Final Fantasy 15 came out around a similar time. And uh, about a month later, and then uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. And then I was away. And then... I was busy over Christmas, so I just never got a chance to finish it. So I thought, well, I'll do a Let's Play on it. And uh, we can complete it, go through it together and stuff. So uh, I'm just going to start a new game. I should have all my DLC content as well that I got with the game. Uh, auto save, is save it. Yeah, that's fine. Send Sephiroth's champion medal. Yeah, Colosseum's equal to White Chocobo, Glow Moogle, Red Bonnet Berry. Save it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't. And we will claim a bonus of that, which is the Magitek Armor P. Alright, so we're going to get into it. Um... Prologue. Awake. I'll try not, to uh, try not to interrupt the introduction too much. Time to wake up. <sighs> so yeah, that was the intro to the game. Uh, we still got a little bit of introductions to it, but that was the main introduction. We saw that there was a brother and a sister. Uh, for anyone who hasn't played the game, obviously. Um, the brother and the sister, and they are our two playable characters. Hmm? Got an old PlayStation. That's super cool. Oh right, I gotta get to work. So as you can hear as well, I got a new uh, microphone. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. I got a new microphone. I got a new headset uh, that came with a microphone that I could attach to it, and it just sounds a lot clearer Again. than. It's not like business has picked up any. Uh, yeah, so I got my new microphone, basically. Maybe we should start selling sandwiches along with the coffee. Okay. 
and we'll get into why he has some sort of weird little creature in a minute on his head. The streets sure are quiet today. I'm sorry if like you can hear like everything that I'm doing sort of like if I'm breathing too hard or anything down the mic. I'm still getting used to it and getting used to it, uh, like it being there. Sorry, I probably just tapped it as well. Hey, I'm here. How'd she get in if no one's here yet? <laughs> Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? I'm sorry if you can hear this dog as well in the background. It's next door's dog. It just won't be quiet. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. <laughs> and I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. <laughs> Just looks like Starbucks logo. That's cool. Thank you. Sure. It's gonna be more sugar than coffee at this point, jeez. <laughs> she likes her sugar. I love the designs of the characters in this game, they just look really nice. It's very stylized, but very. Just, I don't know how to explain it, it's just they're very stylized, but they've still got that human element to them and stuff, it's really cool. And here's the sister. There you are. Lon. So we have Lon and Rain. Age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <laughs> so what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh... <laughs> you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. <laughs> Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... There's nobody here. So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just I mean no one. Lon, have you bumped into anyone today, besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. <laughs> You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. 
You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. <laughs> that was super cool. Which brings us to... Tama, right to here! Ah, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the daddy! Huh? Hey, hey, so yeah, this is uh, Taba, who uh, she likes to use the a lot. Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone Between have words. any questions? Hmm. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind. <sighs> Now I just see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused. Uh, hey, whoa, whoa, take it easy there, Lon. So I we saw that at the start they were all sort of oh, weird and they were just sat on top of a building with blank stairs. Oh, yes, please. And then um I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? And then uh they fell yeah, off the building uh, and they awoke because of that girl. Yeah, uh, you shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. With the weird voice. Oh. Would you the like some sugar? Three cubes. And then you, obviously right? he woke up with Tabo on his head and stuff, so. No. Okay, I... I'll the go and put the coffee on. These are but like I the three said, main I... characters of the game. You know what? And we'll Just get introduced more into Tama soon as well. She sort of gives a lot of tutorials and things. Uh, I'm trying not to interrupt any of the speech and stuff too much, but there's a lot of speech at the start of the game. Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can... do that? Dude... How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh... So, we could have ruled the world because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. What does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> All right, okay. So we're getting into our first battle with. Uh... Well, I think we're getting into our first battle. It was just got seen. Okay, so you see you got the bar there, and then like on the left side is the enemies, and on the right side is your characters. Okay, so it says, get ready, it's time to battle. Characters take turns based on agility. The, fo the faster a character, the sooner they get to act. See that long thin bar, each face represents a different character. When a character's icon reaches the top of the bar, they can select an action. And you can use R to switch between characters who are ready to act. Yeah, so the actions are linked to the buttons of the PlayStation controller. Um, so any ability you learn will be automatically assigned there, but you can do it yourself. Uh, Alright, so like for instance here we've got Tama, and 
she's got attack or defense. So if I press triangle, she'll do that. And as for Lan as well, and you can switch into classic mode, which I really like. Because it lets you see abilities, it lets you use your attacks. Okay, that's yeah, helpful. That's the way to the do it. No, it's not. He missed. <laughs> so commands like magic and other abilities cost AP. To use characters recover AP when their turn comes around, or by successfully exploiting enemy weaknesses. So the, you have your HP and then you have AP. The more powerful command uses more AP. Most mirages have weaknesses they can inflict exploit. For bonus damage and AP, discovering them will give you a huge advantage, so don't be afraid to use it. Alright, so. Now this uh, evil Tama is going to attack. You're. Urugu or something, I think it said. Alright, so we go to... to, to see, uh, is this Tama? Yeah, so Tama's got 4 AP. So we do this, we can see what it's weak to. And it's probably weak to fire. Yeah, it's not weak to anything. But you can't imprison it. So it gives you the information. And then, um... It tells you their weaknesses and what their ailment resistance is. And it tells you how to capture them as well, because that's the whole point, you got to capture them. Oh, I pressed defend, I meant to press attack. But it's not a whole bar, which is fine. So, attack. I even knew that you had talent. There are three battle modes, active, semi, active and wait. In active mode, the time keeps flowing regardless of whether or not you input commands that the battles move quickly and without interruption. Wait mode, time stops until you input commands. And then, as we said, uh, if you press L1 you get the uh, command menu, like a, any other Final Fantasy, so let's do that. So they're going to go first. I don't know, it's not fainted yet. So it's a really simple battle system, which is really cool, and there's other elements to it as well that we'll get into as the game progresses. This is just the first basic all right, battle. All right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. We did it! Past, no, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, but seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the Mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. 
And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> So yeah, that is the the start of the game. We got introduced to everything here. Uh, I don't want to over. Chapter oh, one. Oh, maybe you have to. That kind of sucks. Of the uh, okay, so we're just gonna come to here and then. We shall see. So we're in the Wellspring Woods. I think there might be a save point near the start. So, this must be Grimoire. As you can see, we're little what? munchkin things. <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I know, we look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, don't so worry. I'm sure that's how everybody in this world must look. Anna Crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. Okay, so you said you got Lilikin and Giants. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lilikin and the taller people are called Giants. The twins can switch freely between these forms. Press uh, L1 plus circle for rain and press L1 plus square for LAN and they'll switch between the big and small sizes. And this uh, uh, you can go around in either form but it also affects you during battle as well so it's good to have uh, an understanding of how they work. Okay. Uh, so we have the tip jar so if you need to read it we, we will. I guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? All right, you so know, I'll do this bit, and then once. I'll when I get to the first what? save point. I'm not gonna get lost yet. Oh, hello! I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. All right, let's get into our. First battle with both characters. I think, or is it just uh, Lan? And so, you know, it doesn't do this at the start of every battle, it's just uh, like the tutorial ones. Okay, so here we got the next uh, mechanic. So, what now? You're the going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the choco chips prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first try the weakening the choco chip, then the use your prism. Okay, so we gotta uh, try and try and catch it in its empty prism, so we get the prismarium for it. Uh, okay, why does the Enneagram just walk over the whole lot of them? Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every mirage you meet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we just got a. Uh, It, uh, you start with an empty prism, yeah, and all this sort of stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so it's telling us all this information. Uh, you can switch between mirages with L1 and R1. That's what I was saying before, we had the elements and the other stuff. And what they're resistant to, strength, magic, accuracy, and all their stats as well. Okay, so they're automatically using Libra for us. 
Use physical attacks to create a prism prismunity. Prism tunity, so a prism opportunity. Also requires a choker trick prism, which we've got. So if we just attack it, like normal, as you can see. So you have to make prism tunities. To try different things right, before Tana. certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. So now we should be able to uh, should be able to imprison it now. We know how to do it, and if you use Libra, it'll tell you how to do it. So the choker chicks go attack first. Okay. So, if I press circle now, we should be able to hopefully imprison it. Hey, then look, you did it! Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! All right! Victory! Okay, so we level up as well, which is cool. We got a choker chick. A little green, uh, a little green chocobo. A little chocobo that loves to waddle around. These feathery friends love to headbutt, th headbutt things. This is fine because a choco chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. Um, so it's got some uh, interesting stuff, and these are the abilities that it learns. And as you can see, you can transfigure it into other forms as well. So we'll get other forms. Uh, I'm just going to use the default. Looks good. Cool! I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty than neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. So basically uh, you got stacking, stacking and when you stack we together, the stats stack. of those... The HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better be yet. Your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. Yeah, It all depends okay. on how your stack is the configured. Huh? So, for instance, oh, I don't if need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. So, let's say Lard and Tama were Stacking together. Doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. Sorry, I'm just in other like. Words, bye bye, super robot, so to speak. Yowzers! It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle. We can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a stack there and a stack, exa stack example. So you have lot at the bottom and then you have a choker button and then you have a choker check on top. So you have large, medium and small mirages. And the small goes on top, the medium obviously in the middle, and the large at the bottom. And Lan and Rain will either be large or medium, depending on where they are. If they're in their Lilican forms or their giant forms. And then they can have mirages on top of the mirages um, underneath them, depending on the size. Um, as Tama said, you get H the HP increases when you're in the stack and stuff. So every HP of the in the stack combines, and also abilities can change. So let's say two of your mirages had fire, or Lan had fire, and then another one had fire, then it would go to fire. So it's an interesting way of doing it, and like you can um, abandon the stack so that all you, all your characters and mirages end up just on their own, and then you get more turns during the. Uh, during the battle, but they won't be as strong. And then you have uh, 
when you're in the stack, it takes longer, but you do more damage and stuff. So it's a really interesting mechanic, and I really like it. Uh, your stack can get broken, so you have to be careful. So we're going to set this up so that... Oh, uh, there you go, like, small, medium, or large. And then there's uh, another one, but we'll go into that later. Okay. So let's go to stack set up. And we'll go to rain. And we'll put the choker chick on her. And then we can do it for these two as well, so... So whilst in battle, that's how our stack's gonna look. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilican form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Okay. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely. This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a guinea golem. Is it? this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Okay, so we've just got to basically Talk to the gimme golem. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> and he wants a lustre leaf. So where do we find that? Choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco chick's the Mirage board. Okay, so we have uh, this. It's sort of like, sort of like the Sphere Grid. So you earn SP and then you unlock different abilities and stuff. And it's it's super cool. Just it's a really cool. Ability to do, and then you have like Mirage has learned the stroller will appear alongside Rain Field, and you press left and right. Sometimes they'll find something. Okay, so let's go to Mirage boards. Let's go to the, this one. Okay, so here we have so it has the stroll ability, so we just learned that for now. So now we've got the straw ability, you can see the choker chick there, and now we've just got to find uh, that item, the luster leaf. I believe, I can't actually remember where it is, is it over here somewhere? It should tell us. I believe. There. Huh. Right, cool. Yay! You the found it! Now try examining the gimme golem one more at a time. Huh? We found something. Gimme, gimme! Give it to that and it's like Rawr! and then it just like disappears. <laughs> it's super cool, it's like a Whoa! Vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. 
Okay, so as I said there, you can transfigure them into other stuff. Uh, she said, sorry, not he. Uh, we've got a chest here. We have three potions in it, which is good. So, Tama, I noticed mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I was just trying to see if I could save it, but I can't. Now what's this? This is the Cotta Mercury. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. One's not very cute. Okay, so we've got Mercris. These are harder versions and enemies, and you just have to be really careful if you see it. They usually have a level limit on it. Come on! Why did you? Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. So as you can see, we just got uh, wiped out with that. Did kinda. Well, I'm still alive. Yes, that's because someone intervened right at the moment of your demise and made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right. I have the power to rewind time a little and then to whisk you to safety. Although it cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only to use my powers to protect the two of you specifically, and only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always to recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> so basically, when you die, you come back here. <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside it. world when it's yeah. no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience way. crossing between Would planes. Okay, so. After all that, I would like to save the game. Yeah, because we have to.
all right so thank you very much for watching part one of world final fantasy we'll continue into the second part at another time and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next part everyone bye